Hey everybody, Digital Unity here, and welcome back to the Botto Daily Challenge. Today we got Team Toe with no upgrades on AMR. This is gonna take, like, forever. <laughs> Not because it's difficult, but because AMR is a long track and Team Toe is a slow boy. We're gonna be here for a bit. Uh, so I guess while we're on this road trip, this Antobi mountain bus, uh, we could, uh, we could talk a little bit, you know? You and I, just catching up, shooting the breeze. What, uh, what do you want to talk about, huh? Talk about the weather? Talk about, uh, my day-to-day -day life? Talk about Star Wars? You know, Team Topagalis and his IPGX long tail? Boy, you're not really a conversationalist, are you? You're not, uh, you're not uh, giving me anything to work with. You're not saying anything. It's like I can't interact with you because you're in the future and I'm in the past. Water treatment here is, uh, is a good place to cool off, I suppose. I didn't need to go quite so wide. In fact, it might be to my detriment. Where's the... Where's Canyon? Where'd Canyon? Hello? Am I on the wrong side? I am on the wrong side. Wow, I... <laughs> My brain shut off completely. It's not mirrored, so it shouldn't be over there. We're gonna be here even longer now. You see what you do, brain? You get us in trouble. No more thinking. Guess I must still be confused from the time it was Eevee on here mirrored. That was a fun episode. There is actually a skip that Eevee theoretically... Well, actually, no, no, hold on, I was wrong. That's right, somebody tested it and found out that he couldn't even do that one. So there, there was nothing to do. There was no way to improve that. It was just doomed to be that way. Most iconic jump in gaming? Technically speaking, I guess I'm going wide here, but it doesn't matter that bad. I can try not going wide next lap, see what happens. I gotta learn how long it takes Team Toe to cool. Because I'm, like, definitely boosting more often than I need to. Not the smoothest I've ever done, Canyon, but definitely better than the worst times I've had with it. Canyon will be on this side because we're not mirrored. Not Canyon. Ice. Tent. That's the word. Great! We have to start over! I hope you're a fan of long recording sessions that get chopped down into a single run. Channel's doing pretty well. Uh, the state of the channel's pretty alright. Uh, I do have something extra I want to talk about with tourney season, baby, at the end of the episode, so I'm gonna remember to do that. Big things happening in the Star Wars Episode 1 Racer community. You don't want to miss them. This isn't one of them, but, you know, tourney is. You don't want to miss tourney. Look at this guy, missing tourney. Okay, let's try to go, let's try to go not wide here. Let's see what happens if I go not wide. It definitely feels like a better line. Like a more optimal line, because it's slightly more difficult, but it is closer to the left-hand side. It probably doesn't matter too much in the grand scheme of things.
Not great. Heat's probably not going to run out before the end of the tunnel, but I do want to make sure that it doesn't. Not like Team Toe really needs to be any narrower to get through that. Terrible bonk. relaxing drive you know it's it's not, not a whole lot going on but it's nice you know it's pleasant you get to really appreciate the sights and sounds and scenery of Adobe Mountain Run don't get to do that every day You know, you really don't appreciate how nice the, uh, the, how much work they put into making the canyon when you're blasting through it as, as Ben Guadanaros. You really don't get a chance to appreciate that. We're really cruising. So 158. I think we got a shot here at, at getting a solid time. It's just going to take, you know, 400 more years to get to the end of the track. time into water treatment there we go cool off just a little bit and here's a good spot probably reboost there maybe So 1.77. That's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, if the diamond time is 6.12, then that's great. I'm, I'm content with that. Well, that's been today's episode of Botto's Daily Challenge. Just a nice, relaxing drive. Definitely better than yesterday's Odie Mandrell nightmare. If you like these kinds of challenges and you want to try them out for yourself, come on down to the Star Wars Episode 1 Racer Discord. There's a link to join in the description, and we keep the challenges in the Botto's Junkyard channel. We get a new one every day, and I make a video on it every day, so if you want to make sure you don't miss a beat, you can always subscribe. And once again, I'd like to plug that it's tourney season, baby! That's right, every year we do a tournament in cooperation with the lovely folks over at Speed Gaming. Qualifying starts April 15th and ends May 14th. The qualifying tracks have been announced, and I will link them in the description below. All you need to join is a copy of the game, the ability to stream, and a Twitch channel to stream on. And 
between you and me, the winner's pot this year has gotten up to $2,000. So there's $2,000 to go around amongst the people who win this tournament. But you didn't hear that from me. I know I'll be participating in this year's tournament, so if you want to make sure that you come down and support me, or any of the other various racers competing to be the fastest pod racer in the galaxy, make sure that you catch us live. Until next time, I've been Digital Unity, and this has been, you know, kind of nice, actually. This was a pretty nice one. <laughs>